Hey, Brandon, I know that um, when you think about sort of a preseason camp and, and an offense getting ready for a season, the passing game, so much of it is is based on timing and getting everybody on the same page. Have y'all had issues doing that because so many guys have been in and out of the lineup? Um, I wouldn't say we've had issues doing that. Um, I think we've done a great job of filling in where we need to fill in and um, also with that playing at a high level. So I think that everybody – Everybody in the receiver core, they come to practice every day ready to go. So therefore, like, let's say a, a receiver drops down, there's no drop off in the level of play. Everybody's playing hard, everybody's. So that, that kind of allows us to have the same kind of timing, just in case maybe somebody's out for whatever reason. We'll go to David Pascal, followed by Jimmy Himes. Hey, Brandon. Uh, when Coach Pruitt the other day mentioned 44 players being out, obviously that's a pretty staggering number. What has the team morale kind of been like these past few days, given that number? And has this hurt the momentum of this program that was being built in any way, shape, or form? Um, I say, I say the team morale has been high. Um, and I don't think it's really hurt, um, you know, what, what, what we have going. Um, like I said, I, I, I feel like everybody's – we kind of knew what we were getting into um, during this pandemic. And we kind of knew that, okay, at certain periods of time, different people may be out for – X reasons. So um, I feel like everybody was ready for it. I think the team morale is high because um, I just think everybody was ready for, you know, things that may happen. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, you have to unmute your line. Brandon, talk a little bit about how these freshmen may have pushed you a little bit and how they're pushing the wide receiver cord. Secondly, what have you seen out of Jarrett Garantana where you think he may be better than he was a year ago? Um, okay, so as far as the freshmen goes, um, all the freshmen, they look really good. I mean, the future is super bright for all the freshmen. And, um, as far as pushing us, they're pushing us to, you know, A, compete on a high level every day. Um, also, they're, they're challenging our leadership because, you know, with freshmen comes a uh, certain level of leadership. You have to be able to bring young guys along, show them the ropes, um, teach, them, teach them the right way to go about certain things. And um, I, I really think the future is really bright for all the freshmen that came in. And um, as far as Jared, um, Jared is just, he's become such a great leader um, amongst the team. Everybody, he has the respect of everybody on the team. And um, I just can't wait to see what he does this season. All right, we'll go to Brent Hubbs, followed by Mike Wilson. Brandon, I'm curious as to – I know this offseason has been different, but you've not played football in a year. What's that been like for you mentally? And secondly, how do you think you're a better football player? What, what did you really focus on this past year uh, to get ready for this senior season? Um, as far as sitting out for a year, like, um, you know, it, it, it – how can I say this? It was it wasn't fun sitting back and watching you know my teammates go to battle every year uh, every game last season, um, but now that I'm in it and now that we're getting so close to game time like I'm just excited like I can't wait to go, and I, I think that time off really just just helped me take a take a step back and look at the game from the outside in so to speak, and um, it really allowed me to kind of get my game in order as far as like mentally, really really mentally, um, working on the physical aspect as well. Uh, routes. I mean, there's just so much you can you can never stop working in the game of football. There's so much like you can you can do to improve yourself, whether it be mentally or physically. So, I just been working all around this game. Mike. Yeah, Brandon. I'm, I was curious how you've seen Rice Thompson and Elante Taylor grow over the course of the last year or so, and what's it like to go up against those guys now compared to when they got here two years ago? Oh man, it's it's crazy to see their growth. Um, I say those, those are really, those are really, just really smart, uh, really smart players. So, I mean, they, they're, they're pointing out different things and, and you just love to see their growth because right now, like the way they're looking, they look like some of the top DBs in the, in the, the country. So it's, it's been cool to go up against those guys every day and just to watch their improvement up close. It's been really cool to see. We'll go to Ryan Shumpert followed by Patrick Brown. Hey, Brandon, you talked a little bit about being a leader on this team. How kind of challenging has that been to keep everyone focused on what they can focus on when there are so many outside variables in this fall camp? Um, I wouldn't say it's been too challenging just because I feel like everybody came in 
um, to camp, excuse me, with the right mindset. Um, I think that goes a long way. So it hasn't really been too challenging for for guys in the leadership role, just because I feel like everybody kind of has their head on straight and they, they know what, what goal we're trying to reach. Hey, Brandon, you, you kind of touched on a little bit too. For, from a leadership standpoint, how, how do you have to go about things differently knowing that you've got guys that are watching you, that are leaning on you, uh, that, that are trying to find out what you know and, and kind of take what you can give them? How do you, how do you have to kind of change your approach, whether it's on the field, off the field, just on a daily basis, uh, knowing that you have to kind of fill that role? Um, you just really have to be conscious of how you may carry yourself. And like you said, you are being watched at all times. So uh, you do have to be conscious of how you carry yourself, um, what kind of effort you're giving. And, um, and you can't really tell anybody to do anything you're not doing yourself. So that's one thing you kind of have to lead by example, as well as being a motivator. We'll go to Wes Rucker and then back to Jimmy Himes. Brandon, how much, if any, different are you as a player from the last time we've seen you play in games? I know we saw you play a little bit early last season, and you made a couple plays, and we've seen you play before. But but what has anything about your game changed since maybe early last season? Uh, I would say just my confidence level. Confidence level. That's probably the number one thing. I'm just I'm so excited just to get out, get back out there and play, man. It's just I just I can't wait. Does some of that maybe come from sitting back and, and watching a little bit, or does it just come from kind of the the you get kind of maybe twitchy a little bit when you're not out there playing? No, nah, I would say a lot of that comes from sitting back and watching a little bit. Um, you you look at things from a different standpoint where you're not actually in it, and um, maybe you'll be sitting back and looking at other guys. You may be able to realize, okay, like this works, maybe. This works, you know, different things like that. So I really think sitting back for, for a little while definitely kind of helped me improve my game. Yeah. Brandon, we've seen high schools playing for a month. We've seen a number of college games already. The NFL started Thursday night. How eager are you to get on the field and play a football game? Uh, super eager, especially now that, like you said, we've seen some some games being played and and – you see, see that they can be played, you know, during this time. So I'm super excited to get back out there. We'll go to Rick Russo and then to Eric Kane. Hey, Brandon, uh, a couple questions. Uh, what, what's your concern level at this point with, with players being out, players coming back, that Tennessee can indeed field a competitive team on the 26th against South Carolina? And then did you watch last night's game and see the limited crowd? And what were your impressions or thoughts about seeing a stadium with, with so very little people in it. Um, okay, um, I'm I'm confident. Um, I'm confident we'll all be ready by the time uh, by the time the game rolls around. Um, like I said, everybody has the right mindset, so it's kind of like a next man up mindset. And people are being a people are learning to be adaptable to play different uh, positions, offense, defense. So uh, I, I'm confident we'll be more than ready um, come the 26th. And um, yeah, I did see the game last night and. Um, it was pretty cool to see, you know, some fans out there. You know, obviously, players, we kind of feed off the energy from the crowd and the fans. But, I mean, uh, with today's climate, you know, it, it, it's kind of like an, it is what it is kind of situation. And um, so, yeah, it is what it is. But if they allow any fans to come, like, I'm cool with that. Eric? Hey, Brandon, you've uh, you've been in this program for quite a while now. How much different is the program now compared to when you stepped foot? And if so, is it is it better? And um, how is it better? Um, oh man, that's a heavy question. Um, uh, just two, just 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 different coaching styles. Um, I've seen a lot of coaches like come and go through this program, and um, I'm not gonna say any coach is better than another. Just there's just a bunch of different styles, and um. Uh, coach Pruitt is a great coach. I mean, we love him, and I love what he's doing with the team. And just can't wait to get can't wait to get back going. Last two questions. We'll go to Patrick Brown, and then close with Austin Price. Brandon, you kind of you kind of touched on this, but your decision to to redshirt. Obviously, the the short term was you had to kind of sit and watch last season. I guess the long term is uh, you, you get to play this year. Maybe have a little bit better opportunity. Uh, is that how you viewed it at the time and, and sort of looking back at it now almost a year out, uh, kind of how do you review that decision and, and do you feel confident that it's going to turn out to be the right one for you? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely confident it will turn out to be the right decision for me. Um, it wasn't 
just a decision for myself. It was a decision for my team. I felt like I'd be better suited to help my team out this year. And um, I don't I don't regret anything. So pretty excited. Austin. Brandon, you mentioned a minute ago guys playing offense and defense and, and adjusting on the fly. If you had to play another position, what would be what what would you be comfortable playing? Uh, I'm, any any receiver position on the field, I can play it. So I'm cool with everything. All right, thanks, Brandon. Thank you, guys.